Peace everyone, I'm Mascart here, and I thought I'd do something a little different today. Uh, this past weekend, I took a trip up with my girlfriend to Warsaw, and I had a lot of fun. I took a lot of footage, and I thought about the question, is it easy being vegan in Poland? I've been vegan for seven years now, and just moved to Poland a couple months ago. So we woke up and took a bus to the train station. When we got there, um, we hopped on our train and it was about a four hour trip from here in Katowice to Warsaw. Uh, it was a nice train though, it was very smooth and quiet, so it was, uh, it was, a, it was a fun experience and great landscape. Taking a train across the country, you realize how flat Poland is. I barely saw a hill. Once we got to the central station in Warsaw, we headed over to drop off our stuff at the hotel. We stayed at the Hilton and we had a pretty sweet room um, and it was remarkably inexpensive and it had a pretty nice view of the southern skyline. We were pretty hungry so we left to get lunch and the first place that we ate at was um, vegan pizza and we got an awesome calzone that we shared and a delicious piece of chocolate cake. The next thing that we did is we walked down to Wazienkowski Park which is equally amazing as it is huge. Most of the weather reports said that it was going to be raining and thunderstorms and all kinds of craziness. Uh, fortunately, they were completely wrong. Um, and I got some really great footage of Poland's adorable little squirrels. They are super friendly and they just like run up to you. After a few hours uh, walking around the park, we walked over to this vegan restaurant called Crow Barjava. We got a couple of their giant burgers. Then we walked over to this small cat obsessed cafe. Uh, then we walked around and later we went to this other vegan burger place called Habas. The next day, we walked all the way down to Old Town. Anyway, so we left Old Town and went to another park. The air was a lot cooler, so I was expecting it to actually rain. So we ran over to this other restaurant that was nearby called uh, Falafel Beirut, and we were able to get in just before it started to thunderstorm. We waited for a bit for the rain to stop before we headed back to the hotel. And then of course, once the rain stopped, we headed back out for a sushi dinner. Uh, I ordered so much sushi, they had to roll me out the door. But it was amazing how closely they were able to emulate uh, the actual taste of sushi. Then the next day, we had to check out of the hotel, so we left a little bit later. We went back to the vegan pizza place and got pizza this time instead of a calzone. Uh, we walked around for a little bit and returned to Crow Barjava for another round of burgers. We then shamelessly went back to the cat cafe and ordered way too much dessert, but justified it with it being our last day in Warsaw. So we got super large on dessert. From there, we just got back on the train, headed back home to Katowice. Uh, we got here pretty late and went to sleep. Then we woke up uh, Sunday morning and we headed out to Vegan Mania, which was a, an event that was going on in the center 
Um, it was really cool. It was pretty much like all of the restaurants we wanted to eat at in Warsaw followed us here to Katowice. There was a ton of new restaurants from cities we haven't been to yet. Yeah, it, it just it had tons of vegan vendors and restaurants from all around Poland uh, came out to serve food. It was fantastically delicious and cruelty-free, and we finally got some real ice cream. So that is pretty much it for the weekend and to address the question as to whether or not it's easy being vegan in Poland. I came from Seattle, which has a huge vegan and vegetarian community, it has tons of vegan restaurants and options, but I would say in comparison to Seattle, I find it much easier being vegan in Poland and the real irony in it is that I don't even speak Polish and I have no trouble communicating with the concept of being vegan here. Anyway, I'll probably post a couple more videos this week since I don't have a lot going on and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.